If you are an experienced producer, but you're looking for that missing link to get to the next level, Cubase has everything you need to step up your game and achieve fully professional results for your music. With industry standard level vocal tuning and manipulation, new high grade plugins, incredible mixing and editing tools, Cubase will allow you to bring your productions to a different league altogether up there with the pros. Let's jump into Cubase and check those out. One of the most important elements in the production are definitely the vocals. And with Vario in Cubase, you can make sure that your vocals are going to be always perfect. Let me show you. I have a vocal right here. Let's play it. I wanna know if there's a place for me in paradise. Variorio gives us quite a bit of control per note. For example, here I can take this note and straighten the pitch curve. I can change the tilt. I can select a pitch. I can change my tilt anchor. I can even fade in the tuning. So maybe I want to keep this transition clean. I can tilt left, right. I can shift the format. I can quantize the pitch so I can make sure that it's exactly spot on and I can even change the volume per note. If I have some quiet notes, like here for example, I can just add a few dBs and make my vocal even more even. Variorio also gives you all the tools so that your vocal tunings sound natural. For example, these hard transitions are really common when you're doing vocal editing. With Variorio, you can make sure that you ease out those transitions between the two notes so that they always sound smooth, but the note remains in pitch. Now, if you want that distinctive hard tune effect, you can do this super easily in Variorio. Just select all your notes, go quantize pitch all the way up and straighten curve all the way up. And now we immediately have this effect. I'm sure you're gonna be familiar with it. I wanna know if there's a place for me in paradise. It doesn't stop there though. You might want to completely manipulate your vocals, so maybe I want to select my notes and change my format. I wanna know if there's a place for me in paradise. Or I might want to change the duration of a note. Wanna know if there's a place. Or I might even want to chop some notes and change the pitch. You know, so you can do all these amazing creative things or you can just use it very sparingly to correct a vocal naturally. And this is all built into Cubase, it plays in real time and you don't have to worry about re-rendering all the files in case you change your mind. Cubase also has some really high quality professional plugins that will allow you to get the best out of your music. Now let me show you how the dynamic functionality of Frequency 2 can help you get a great sound out of your masters as well. Well, in this case, I have a stereo track. Now, maybe I want to enhance the high mids for this track. And also, maybe I want to bring out this snare. Now, let me show you. I'm going to activate band 6 to add a little bit of presence. And I'm going to also activate band 2. Now, with band 2, I'm trying to pinpoint the snare. Now I know that my snare is at 143 hertz, but if I leave my EQ like this, you will see that the mix is going to sound really muddy. Instead, what I can do is I can turn this band into a dynamic band, and now I'm adjusting the threshold so that only when the snare hits, we get this raise in volume. Let's listen to that now. So our snare now acquires more body, more thump, and we're not cluttering the mix. Let me show you again the difference between dynamic and non-dynamic. And without the EQ at all. So extremely powerful plugin processing inside Cubase. When it comes to mixing, Cubase offers one of the most powerful digital mixing consoles where you have pre-gain, EQ, a full channel strip on every channel with gate, compression, EQ, saturation, limiters, de-essing, really flexible routing, 
and the mixer is fully resizable and modular. So you can have the mixer be as big as you want, so you can add your meter bridge, you can always take a look at your EQ settings per channel, and you can copy settings from channel to channel very easily. Now with all this power, you might want to explore different mixing versions for your tracks. So Cubase can really help you with that. Let me show you. Let's say we have this mix right here and we're very happy, but we want to try a few other things. So I can take a snapshot of this mix as easily as clicking on this Save Mix Console Snapshot button. And there we go. Now we have a snapshot of my mix right here. And maybe I want to try a few things with my bass here. Maybe I want to change my drums a little bit and maybe a different EQ for my guitar right here. Maybe I want to change the panning a little bit and tweak some levels. And now I can save another mix snapshot. Now I can audition these two mixes very easily by just clicking on this recall snapshot button and I can decide which mix I prefer or if I'm working with a client or with a production house, I can go back to a previous mix very easily without any hassle and without having to resave my project file. This is all included in one project file so I can focus on my sound and nothing else. Another very important thing for modern music production is side chaining. We all know the sound when we need our bass and kick drum to sit well in a mix and have this nice energy in the low end, we need to side chain our bass to the kick drum. In Cubase this is very easy to use and we have even more flexibility because we can have multiple sidechain inputs for the same channel. Another area that can be problematic is the mid-range. That's where we have many elements. We might have vocals, we might have synths, we might have guitars. There are so many things going on and sidechaining is equally important for the mid-range as well. For example, I have this synth bus right here. Let's listen to it. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of low end, a very dense mid range. And these are all frequencies that are going to clash with my bass and with my vocals, for example. So how can we solve the problem? Let me show you the multiple sidechain inputs is the solution. This is the new Frequency 2 EQ that we have in Cubase 11. Let me show you how you can set it up to make sure that your synths are going to sit very well in your track and they're not going to clutter your mix. First of all, we want to make sure that our low end is not going to clash with our kick. So I'm going to activate my sidechain and I'm going to create the first sidechain input. So let's go and add a sidechain source and I'm going to add the kick drum there. Now I can turn this EQ to dynamic and I want to make sure I add a low shelf filter. Now this will not be activated, this EQ band is not going to be activated until the kick drum hits. So let's change the sidechain input to sidechain 1 which is my kick drum that we just added and let's see what happens right now. So as you can see, the low end of my synths is getting ducked by the kick drum. So problem one solved, let's go to problem number two. Maybe I want these nice vocal chops to stand out and they don't fight with my synths. I can do exactly the same thing. I go to my mid range here, okay? So this is band number five. I turn this to dynamics mode and I want to set a new side chain for this one because we don't want this to be triggered by the kick drum. We want this to be triggered by these vocal chops. So let's go here to my cogwheel and let's go to side chain number two instead. And now I'm going to add another source and I'm going to add my vocals as the source for this band. Let's check it out. Let's add a little bit of reduction there. And now you will see that this band is going to be activated by my vocal chops. Let's try it out. And in this case, a little bit can go a long way. Cubase allows you to compile the perfect take for your recordings. So let me give you an example. I'm going to record some bass takes and then we're going to go into Cubase and compile the perfect bass take. In order to do this, all I have to do is set my locators the way I want them to and activate 
cycle recording. And let's go ahead and record. Okay, so now let's check out the takes that we just recorded inside Cubase. In order to see all the takes, I need to click on the Show Lanes button. Let's check them out. And as you can see, now I have all the takes that are recorded for my bass. Now, if I need to compile the perfect take, the only thing I need to do is grab my Comp tool, and now I can start selecting different regions of the audio and select which take I prefer for each region. In this case, let's try and get the first phrase. And as you can see, Cubase cuts all the takes at the same point and now I can select which take I'm going to use. Let's try and check out the first two bars. And let's switch between the different takes. I like this one, but I was still figuring it out. So let's try a few more. That's nice. Let's try the take four. I think I'm gonna keep this one. Let's grab the next two bars. That's nice. What about these bars? That's nice. Now let's move to the last section. So we're going to start with take three, then we're going to move on to take two, then to take one, and then back to take two. Great, so now when I'm happy with my perfect take, I can close the lanes, and then what I can do is I can select my audio events, go to audio, advanced, delete overlaps, and now I have a clean take. So let's listen to it. So there you go, with all these amazing features in Cubase 11, you can truly elevate your music production to a completely different level.